What are you looking at? Ew. That, that's, that's gross. Are you dipping sour cream on chips? Ew. Is that your toes? Over there? Is that, is that your feet? They stink like mustard. <laughs> What's up, guys? I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. I hope you're living extreme and doing crazy stuff because that's the Skump Crew way. Today, we're going to show you how to make a mousetrap car. So let's do it. All right, one of the first things you're going to want to do is just hit this for the little Expecto Patronum. Bah! What that does is take all the little extra pieces that were on there off because those are not necessary. Just take one of these little dial things over here. Cut it about three to four inches. Ow! Make sure to get some on your finger. That's the number one step. Yeah, do that. Glue it on the mouse trap and let that dry. While your mouse trap is drying, you're going to take two more of these sticks. Cut them the same length. Now you got two sticks. You're going to take these and you're going to glue them onto both sides of the mouse trap car. Now you got all three sticks glued approximately at the same length. Now you're going to want to take a straw and cut like three inches off of it. You're going to want to glue it right there on the back. The straw is going to work as your axle, so you got to make sure it's nice and straight. And then you're going to do the same thing to the front. Press it way too high. You need to cut it. Ooh. And then you got all your axles on there. You got your back axle, your front axle. It's like string. All the strings from the stinking thing. Got strings all over my hands. It's like cobwebs. It feels like cobwebs everywhere when you get all the glue on your hands. Now you got your frame and your axle. Another stick. Like so. Just like this. And you're going to make it about an inch bigger than the straw you cut. Before you put the stick in, on the back axle, the one where the stick is pointing, this little wooden stick right here, the one where that's close to, you're going to take a scissors and you're going to cut a section out. Just like that. Do it. Cut it. Now what you need is like one of those little metal twist ties that has a paper on it. I already ripped the paper off mine, but you want to rip like the paper off. And then you're going to take it, you're going to wrap it around your axle and twist it on there super duper tight. Once you got it good and on there and you got about a quarter inch of metal, snip it so that you have a little tiny like hook to catch on. That's what the string is going to, that's what's going to hold onto the string. So when you twist it, it winds it up like a little farnuckle on there. Little farnuckle boodle stink. No, you're going to need to get your string length right. So what you're going to have to do is this little metal piece right here on the mousetrap is the thing that makes the mousetrap pop. You want to take it and pull it over to release the mouse trap so it don't, won't pop on you. You're going to tie it around this stick right here and then wrap it a couple times. And hot glue the string so it don't come undone. Ow, it's so hot. <laughs> Leave it down and bring it to where it touches the axle and you're going to cut it right there. So now it's cut. So now I got the right length from my string. What you're going to want to do is though is put a little knot loop in the back of your string. Then you gotta do the loop the loop right again. Don't mess with the loop crew. Cause we the scum crew. And if we don't like you then bump you. Cause we the best crew around. When we come we know we get down. The last thing what you gotta do is you gotta take your axles and you gotta get the hottest most pimpest dopest wheels you can find. So a lot of people like to use CDs but I'm, I'm gonna go scumpy style and I'm just gonna just not use CDs. But whatever you do use, have two pairs of, they need to be the same thing. So you can have like two CDs in the back, two bottle caps in the front, two bottle caps in the back, two CDs in the front. You want them to be the same thing so that they're going and rotating at the same time. For the front, I'm gonna use two bottle caps. And so they have a little grip. I'm gonna put the bottle caps in a water, in a water balloon water balloon around it so I got those orange rims look at that guys looking dope and then that'll have a little bit of you know grip when it's on the ground wheel number one wheel number two we got a green wheel and we got an orange wheel I'm putting the wheels on the car now just taking it and hot gluing right in the center front wheels on we got the string hooked up we got the frame we got the axles now we just got to put our back wheels on and we're ready to ride boy now that's drying because there's so much hot glue on it grab your popcorn yeah. Now that I'm all done with the popcorn, I probably got popcorn on all my teeth. I want to want to take a little bit of the pressure off of the mouse trap arm, and you're gonna take your loop, put it.
put it on the little metal hook and then twist it. This will slowly pull the mouse trap down. And now you're ready for launch. Okay guys, launch number one. Three, two, one. Alrighty then. Go Betsy go. Go Betsy go. Go Betsy go. You can do it. See, this one needs a little bit more weight on it. So I'm in the middle of, uh, actually at the end of the video of showing you guys how to make this. And I go to do it and the little thing breaks off. So that just shows you when you're doing it, use a lot of super glue or a lot of glue. Also, you want more weight. This thing you can saw, you saw from the other videos, the other little clips, the, the string just got pulled really quick and it's just kind of quick burst of energy. And you need to have a little bit of weight on it so that it goes slower. That's how you do the mouse trap. That has made me really, really sit there and think of stuff that I hate. I'm just gonna list a couple more things that I hate for you guys. First, let me say that was the biggest pet peeve right there. Making a video that you think is gonna be super legit and then almost at the very end of it, it gets ruined. Next biggest thing I hate is that when you make a video that you think is going to be really good and do really really good but it's not a trendy topic so it doesn't do good at all. It doesn't do good, doesn't do jack crap. Third thing I don't like and is a pet peeve of mine, a lot of you might understand this. If you're a YouTuber you understand the first two and you hate it. This one everyone understands. You're sitting here and you're eating your popcorn or you're eating your food and you're in bed and then you drop a piece. So you go, okay, where'd it go? You start searching around. You're just throwing stuff. You just get rid of that pillow. I don't need that. You just throw that. You get rid of that. And then you just, where did it go? You just can't find it. And it's like, it's like it vanished. One week later, you're laying in bed. You're, you're sleeping. You're all comfy. You feel something tickle your neck. And you wake up and it's exactly what you lost three months ago. Tickling you in the neck. And you're just like, what the heck? I just tried to find that for three hours and I couldn't find it. And then I'm laying here in bed and it pops up on my neck. Another thing you guys can relate to, you're in the shower. You're, you're just having a good time. You're cleaning everything. And then it's time to clean your hair. So you take the shampoo and you put it in your hair. You start rubbing it around. And then, you know, it gets starts getting near your eyes. So you got to close them. Dark. Everything's just dark. Your just, eyes are closed. And then you just... All of a sudden, you just think of the most horrifying thing ever, like someone's right outside the door with a knife and they're about to stab you. So you take it and you wipe it and you get you wipe it all off and you look at the, you know, you're trying to look around and see if anyone's there. Of course, no one's there, but you get soap in your eyes and then your eyes feel like someone's stabbing them with a knife anyway. So you might as well just kept your eyes closed. That's enough of my rant for today. I hope you guys had an awesome day. I really had an awesome day, even though the video didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to. I still had a fun time making it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But most importantly, guys, go subscribe, hit the bell, comment down below what you want me to do next. Also, peace out. Stay scumpy. <laughs>